Hello, my name is Karak City 2 and welcome back to our Omnifactory playthrough. I just rearranged a little bit underneath here. If you remember, we put... I had, for some reason, I was thinking, like, a CEF. I didn't w I don't want these to, like, run out of power ever. So I was like, oh, yeah, we'll do a CEF for, like, a buffer. And I was like, wait a second. We don't need that. These, the CEF outputs four amps of uh, IV. So I could have four blast furnaces hooked up to the one. And, uh, I mean, even the recipes don't do, like, a full... Um, a full amp. Most of them are pretty close to it. If actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think most of them actually do use. Um, no, nope. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's pretty close. I mean, some of them are a bit less than, yeah, but most of them are pretty. Let's do a full amp. All right, so just ignore what I was saying. But anyway, I was thinking like, oh, we could maybe run five, but uh, no, you can't because um, most of the recipes are um, almost a full amp. So uh, yeah, so I did just little one and then I just put some lumium cables and I decided to make green for uh, IV. And uh, I put the other CEF over there, although that probably needs to be dropped down now that I'm thinking about it. Um, yeah, um, because I was like, uh, there's really no, there's no reason to have a CEF per blast furnace. Um, but I do need some more cables now that I'm thinking about it. Um, right, so I needed patterns, so that's kind of why I was uh, getting that sorted out. I think uh, everything, just making sure everything works here. Yep, there it goes. Nice. Yeah, because I need, I needed some more, I wanted to do, actually now I don't, now that I'm thinking about it, I actually don't need them. I was going to make uh, recipes for all of capacitors, which actually maybe, Maybe I will. I don't know. I actually don't need those right at the moment. I was thinking, like, maybe doing that. Creative? Creative is, actually. Creative flux capacitor. Hmm. That's something to think about. <laughs> I mean... Tons of lithium. Laptrons. Uh, it does require a max battery, though. Um, anyway, uh, today... I'm going to craft up this advanced cluster mill just because I want to upgrade it finally. And I was like, eh, why not? Let's get, uh, let's get that going. And I just crafted up six motors and it's actually, uh, the motors are actually pretty easy. All six of them only required a couple tungsten. It just requires like hundreds of <laughs> copper, but, uh, that doesn't really matter at this point. So yeah, uh, I'm going to craft up this cluster mill. I just, some more of this let's do i think we'll just do although it does take forever to smelt up i think we will do lumium as we'll just stick with like lumium as the cabling for iv i think either that or tungsten and i find lumium's easier to get than tungsten at this point so i think yeah we'll do that so let me just Nope. That. That. And that one doesn't matter because I stick out the circuit anyway. Nope. Just kidding, it doesn't matter. I need that one. Right. And thankfully, these are the same speed. Doesn't matter what tier. They're all like... So, once I get this cluster mill crafted up, I think it is time. Oh, am I out of... Oh. I am out of them in this... That's right. Thing. I'll just take that out. 
for the time being until I can craft up a couple more of those. Hmm. We'll do like two, I guess, will be for the cluster realm. Anyway, um, yeah, so we'll get this going and then. Yeah, it's those. That is. That's kind of rough. Wait, no. We just got quantum. That's right. So. Need two of those. Didn't I? Oh, do I not have a recipe for? I don't have a recipe for that. Whoops. That down. Ooh, I'm running out of uh, <laughs> things on that. Bad. Yeah, that's the one issue with the having rows. You run out of <laughs> sides because yeah, two are taken up from the machines next to it, and there is power cable underneath. Um, so that uh, what's this quantum? What are they? Processor. Yeah, there we go. All right, and I need to make sure I hold that uh, for this quest. All right. So assembly line, much of the same, but now we got the better circuits. It's not as crazy in resources. Um, IV machine hull robot arms, we got those. And then assembler machine casings are gonna be probably the, the worst. Um, so those, and then we need assembly line casings. What are these? Just robot arms, but again, lots and lo just lots and lots of circuits basically for this. We need steel machine casings. I'm pretty sure I have a recipe for that. Did I take it out? I did take it out because I ran out of room. Um, but we're gonna need that. Question is, how big do we want this? I think I'm thinking. I want to say like eleven. We'll do. Like this is one, two, three, four. This is this needs eight. So basically, you need a slice per item, and then one for the output. So this is seven items, and then one output. So that's eight. Um, let me. And to automate these, we're gonna have to get into that text auto mo mod, which. Not really looking forward to. And then, uh, oh man, these circuits. These circuits. Um, so what we can do, I think. So the conveyor needs one, and the pistons need two. And the reason is obviously for clashing recipes here because they all require like a similar well that requires similar to that so if it put in the plates the motor the rounds and the you know all that stuff it would it wouldn't know which one to craft up which is why um, but it leads to just needing to craft up because conflict ugh. yeah um I'm gonna have to think about this, but uh, let's see robot arm. All right, so robot, yeah, robot arm, which is probably gonna we're gonna need robot arms, requires eight, nine, ten, and let's see the pump. That's nine or eight. All right, so eight are those. This goes in a one of the slots as well. That's nine. This is the biggest one. So this needs 10. Um, all right. So robot arms seems to be like the biggest one. Let's see. All right, those are all require the same size. I'm just trying to plan ahead here. Now, I remember the field gens being, yeah, field gens need 13. 
emitter. And this one needs even more. I mean, look how many that needs. All right, so what is that? Tier seven is gonna require that. that. <laughs> and fusion reactor. Oh, that's tier one or tier two. All right. Needs IV. All right. So I don't think we quite need. Um, man, should we just do? Ah, uh, this is what thirteen. Sixteen is the most. Which I don't even think you can actually. If you have, you need fifteen, and then the last slot has to be the output bus. So I don't even think you can do an input with sixteen. All right, let me think here, and uh, the easiest, it's not too horribly expensive. There's just a lot of, lots of circuits, lots and lots of circuits. Um, but you do get three machine casings per this recipe. So this is seven. So four. We need four in there and then one per slice. So if we did just the max just right off the bat, which is probably not even necessary at this point. We would need, just trying to think here. So we would need 16 and then we'd need 20. Would we? No. Yeah. Yeah, we would need 20. If I did a 16. And you get three each, so we would need seven. So we would need seven times seven. We would need 49. All right, so let's see. Oh, so we would need more than that, wouldn't we? <laughs> 49. Yep, and then we're starting to talk, yeah. All right, um, 49, 51. We need 51. And then each of these require two. We would need about, we'd be, if we did 16, we would need close to 70 of those. All right, I'm terrified to look at this. What is it going to cost for like, let's do, let's try, let's say 64. Gold, coal, not a problem. Arsenic, I'm actually working on arsenic. Platinum, not a problem. Silver, not a problem. Um... That's actually not even, that's not even that bad. <laughs> All right, let me do uh, some planning here and figure out where I want to put this. And should we just go for broke and get the biggest one? I don't know. Because I feel like if you're doing, you know, 11, just add a couple, like two, one more craft or whatever. It's not been that bad. Um, but yeah, so let me cut here and we'll come back. All right, we are back, and I'm just getting some of the coal that we're going to need moving forward. Uh, I probably will set up a creeper and a ghast one. Ghast is for silver. Creeper is for coal. Um, but I think for now we're good. And uh, I was actually looking through, kind of trying to figure out uh, the progression. Um, and uh, I think we're actually getting a little ahead of ourselves with the assembly line. We don't need it quite yet um but i think we started we might as well uh, we'll get the assembly line we can get the uh the next the top tier of the uh those circuits um but what we really should be focusing on actually is the media microverse and um this and because this leads to um this is kind of the next um thing that we need Um, because, well, it does osmium, iridium. Um, we can get a lot of these ores if we want. We can also get a whole lot of infinity dust, which is nice because that is, infinity dust is such a pain. Um, you know, going down to bedrock or whatever and lighting on fire. Oh, that is such, that is so annoying. Um, and oil sands, I mean, we get, this is, this is tons and tons of the uh, 
One of these is 16 blocks of oil sands ore. So what is that? One of these is 16. So like how many? <laughs> I mean, that's like dozens of stacks of oil. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what we probably should be going for. We're going to need the medium micro first too. But uh, uh, yeah, we don't quite need the assembly line yet. So the assembly line is made for the tier five micro miner because um, we need that for the compressor and the LUV assembly line. So uh, yeah, but anyway, there is also the package auto for automating the assembly line. So yeah, we, there's some things we should be doing first, but anyway, just thought I would, so we're going a little bit out of order here, but uh, I'm getting kind of going anyway. I've added some of these recipes to the A system and I've changed the, I made sure I changed the robot arm to use the uh, quantum circuits now. Otherwise it is extremely expensive, but uh, yeah, I guess there we go. We'll get that going. Um, I still have some recipes on here, which I really shouldn't. <laughs> Let's pull that out. I'm just trying to think of stuff we use a lot of. Uh, we don't use that stuff a lot, but I should throw this in here. I should throw. I should just, what am I doing? Why don't I just move this over? I'll just like move this whole thing over. And that makes sense. There's still a few over there, but yeah, those, like I said, those recipes I don't use very often. Um, but I do need, the alley smelter needs quite a few of these on. I wish you could, um, can't you in refined storage, you can chain the, uh, can't you like chain the, the interfaces so like if i needed you know 10 interfaces you could just chain them all down couldn't you and put the recipe in there and it would work in the machine isn't that a refined storage thing it'd be kind of cool if that works in these but it doesn't but all right so there that's just going to be a bit faster and uh yeah we'll let that craft up we need massive absolutely massive amounts of copper for the annealed and it's just going to get even worse <laughs> so if we look at that i mean that is four stacks of wire so for one motor but i've gone ahead and crafted up or not crafted i built out a bit this place is starting to look well not starting um we're in like a i'm just gonna fix that i don't i didn't like that Anyway, um, yeah, I just built out a little thing here, and this is for a, I can't remember, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, yeah, 11, 12, 13, 14, um, but this is the building racks to it, and I filled in the glass so I didn't have to, like, look, and I realized it's kind of like, <laughs> looks like a smiley face, but yeah, this is the building next door, so, uh, I just kind of covered it up a little bit. So yeah, this is where we're gonna put the assembly line, I think, at least for now. And um, yeah, I'm gonna have to craft up the compressor. Oh, I cleared this out too, I totally forgot. But uh, that's where the compressor will go. But yeah, I guess let me just continue crafting all this stuff up here. Um, I was looking at the, the thing and, um, this, the, the assembly line controller actually replaces one of these assembly machine casings, which is kind of nice. Um, so that's one less of those we're actually going to need instead of, I think it was on the side in another version of Greg Tech. So yeah, but yeah, just a lot of steel. Basically just a lot of steel and then some circuits. So this isn't, it's not as bad as I was kind of thinking. Um, it does require a lot of robot arms though, which is quite a bit, but uh, yeah, 
I guess let me cut here. We'll continue crafting this up and we'll come back. All right, we're just crafting up the nine more assembly casings. I've decided to do 12. The quest actually says do 12 units on, so we'll go with that. We're going to need a bit more. It's later, but uh, I'm just double checking everything. It seems to be working out. We can see everything turning on. Yes, I need to upgrade this chemical reactor. Um, I think we'll probably do, might as well do IV or something like that. I think it just requires like one motor, but that's working away. And um, yeah, um, we're getting extra because I have the thing set because the percent chance thing. Yeah, so that is that. And I think everything Everything seems to be working, just chugging along here. That's all turned off, and it's doing the tungsten steel. And I love just clicking a thing and getting all this stuff. That actually wasn't, I don't know, it, it wasn't as bad as I was thinking it was going to be. And you know what, I think it's because you get three per crafting recipe. I was kind of thinking... You know, we need 11 slices. We're going to need like hundreds of circuits, but it's actually not that bad, especially with the quantum, uh, the quantum line. Um, it definitely isn't that bad, but you know, as we can see, that is a bottleneck and this is a bottleneck. So this definitely needs to be upgraded. So let's throw that Might as well. Um, chemical reactor. Yeah. We'll do, how about we do an IV one? It probably just, it just needs a motor, right? Yeah, a couple circuits and a motor. That's easy enough. Tungsten steel rotor. Do we have tungsten steel? I don't have, ooh, I don't have the that rotor. Shut up. That needs soldering alloy, doesn't it? Oh, I have, I have room right there. Yeah, that needs soldering alloy. But that's not too bad. So let's just do that. And probably don't have rings, I don't think no no tungsten steel rings yet that's easy enough we got that set up as well ring oh i don't have that do i no i don't i was doing that manually shoot uh another machine i need to craft up <laughs> Could just do an extruder. There we go. Why don't we just craft up an extruder? Ah, Canthal. That's why I didn't do it, because Canthal, <laughs> I don't have the wires. Although I do have. No, see, I don't have. Well, I could just throw it on there. Or we could just do it manually. It doesn't really matter. I mean, the easiest part is just. We need, um, I think we need eight. Four times four, 16, yeah. Is that what I want to do? Kind of like having these all together. I could have, now that I'm looking at that, I probably could have just Through that solid one and oh well it doesn't matter i'm not going to overthink it oh basically just rearranging stuff <laughs> yeah i think i have the solid steel machine casings that we need i put it over here because i didn't realize i had room yeah put it back it's a it's similar recipe to this but all right did that yeah, we're definitely we're still waiting on these, man. That is um that is definitely a bottleneck. So we'll get that taken care of. 
um, in a second here, but yeah, there's our canthal. I mean, that, that's so quick. Right, so there, extruder. There we go. All right, so that'll make one for the rings where I'm going to put it. No clue. Although, if I replace the chemical reactor, I could put it right here. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Yeah, can't do that one. All right, we'll wait for this to do, and then, uh, yeah, I'll replace the thing, and I'll put the IV chemical corrector over there, I think. But, uh, are we, uh, soldering alloy? I feel like it's probably soldering alloy. Are we out of soldering? I think we are. Yes. But I got prepared because I made a whole bunch of, well, I processed a whole lot of tetrahedrite and got a whole bunch of antimony. So, uh, yeah, let's do, oh, I'm out of tin. All right. Well, there's another thing we got to do. That's skeleton. So. Yeah, I just need to, I'm just keep, uh, when I like run out of stuff like that, like, okay, so we need that and we need silver and we need, so I need three of those, basically. I have one, but, uh, yeah, we'll just craft up a couple more of those and then we can, uh, get those automated. So, uh, yeah, anyway, let me cut here and, uh, I'm back. I have enough for like. And that's doing that. Ah, right. Because I'm out of soldering alloy, you can't make any circuits. All right. Uh, let me cut here and we'll come back. All right. I'm just crafting up the last of the stuff here. And I'm actually, I noticed I need reinforced glass for this multi block. And uh, I need to get the advanced alloy plates, which are mixed metal ingots. And there's tons of different recipes, but I. <laughs> I noticed there's one that's tin, bronze, and iron. If you do it this way, you get three plates. But if you just do it that way, you get one. So like, <laughs> that's that's funny. Why would I ever do that? Um, I was debating whether to do like some of the, the higher tier ones, but you know what? Like the stuff is all infinite resources. So there's no point in using like tungsten and stuff. I don't think. So we'll just do, we'll do that. And then I need to throw it in a compressor. We got some more interfaces and uh so that in a compressor oh my goodness let's get you in the way get out of here jai but i need that in a compressor all right uh alloy Presser. And that will be that. Now that is most of that's 24 of that. Oh, class. I should throw a storage bus on this. I just keep forgetting to do it. No, I don't really have an easy way to get into it. I would have to like come up with something, but yeah, it's for the glass. Or do a smelting recipe. That would probably be... I have tons of sand. I should probably just do a smelting recipe. But, eh. It's so easy to just run over there and throw a thing in. But, yeah. So there's that. Um, we got a bunch of this stuff here. There's still a couple things. I need assembly line casings and energy input hatches. Now, this, I believe... Not that. LUV... Uh, machine that's what LUV machine hall so that oh it's lumium why well, I was thinking it was chrome it's been chrome in other versions so lumium plate all right so one more thing compressor nope what am I doing lumium plate I'll just throw it in a compressor 
out there. And then I need vanadium, ooh, vanadium gallium. Don't think we've gotten that yet, have we? Yeah, as we can see, I am, um, it's trying to, it's like pushing us to do an LUV energy hatch and I haven't quite gotten there yet. So as we can see, we're a little bit um, ahead of the thing. So vanadium and gallium. I'm gonna have to sort out the things down there as well for that. Now I do have vanadium magnetite. A bunch in here, I just haven't processed it. Do I have any vanadium in there? No, I don't. I don't think I have. I don't think I've done any vanadium. I love how I have chess and an A system too, by the way. Um all right, so vanadium magnetite. I'm just gonna have to electrolyze this stuff. Yeah, crushed vanadium. You get magnetite out of it, which I don't really want. Vanadium magnetite, and then you electrolyze that to get magnetite and vanadium. So, yeah, I'll have to do that. Um, I'm also processing shielite so we can get tungsten because the amount of assembly lines that we need requires a lot of tungsten um, because it needs it wants 12 um do i have enough yet no so we're gonna need like 100 and almost two stacks of tungsten for this so um yeah and a lot of copper as we can see um i can't even that's not a <laughs> that's more than a a thing of more than my it's like a thousand or something it gets held in here wherever yeah so that's more than that whole thing uh, so we'll have to do those in two batches i think might as well get some going at least four now all right um let me get no i wanted to do six old i have should have a bunch of gold up here. I need to get this automated. Man, there's so many of these things I need uh, to set up. I did get my tin. Yeah, we're up to 489 tin. That reminds me, I need to throw this crafting card back in here. And that will fill up with soldering alloy. I just didn't want to use all my, I didn't want it to use all my tin um, until I got some more. So there's that. All right, so a couple things I need to do here. We need to get those. I need to get that reinforced. There is all our reinforced class. That was easy enough. And then, uh, yeah, machine casings. And uh, let me get, we'll put up a recipe for this. And what do we need? We need eight, eight lumium. Might as well get that smelting up as well. And then, uh, yeah, we'll come back. All right, there is the last of the assembly line machine casings. I got a couple things I need to automate with the loot fabricators, but I figured um, we're running a bit low on time, but let's go ahead and get this set up at least. And then uh, next episode, we'll come back and test it out because we also need uh, one thing I haven't gotten yet. Controller goes there all right so that will be that and then we'll do i'm thinking you can replace any of them any of the the bottom uh things i should probably leave that up just so we can look at it over here uh, you can replace any of the bottom ones with hatches. And uh, I just have a tendency to do it like this, just because that's kind of how I'm used to it. And then the bottom row here. Just get rid of all this. I have built these quite a few times, so I think this will uh okay. So the middle of the bottom row. I can hear skeletons and stuff crawling around. I'm gonna have to maybe throw some more magnum torches. 
We'll face this down. I gotta clear out the basement bit under here too. So that is facing down. So that is the bottom row. Input bus on the back. <laughs> so that is the bottom row. And then you fill in the rest with, oops, I forgot to grab the yeah, solid steel machine casings. I should have them all craft up. Just forgot to, well, not, I've held them before for the, uh, that. So that's probably why that was already completed in the quest book. But do this. And that. The next part is the assembly line casings. And this goes way along there. And reinforce glass. Now, I want to be a little bit careful with this because I, I don't know if it's actually harvestable. Like, is it normal? Does it break? I kind of want to test it out, but I also don't want to have to craft up more <laughs> if it doesn't, if we don't get it back when we break it. But there is that. And assembler line casings down here. And then last, um, I don't know where we're going to put uh, the energy hatch. We'll just throw it, how about right there? For now, I just realized I forgot one thing. Do I have extra? I think I might have had crafted extra of that. Maybe I need... Hopefully, it'll form. All right, well, that changed. So that's usually a sign that it did form. All right, there we go. So there is the assembly line. But uh, unfortunately, automating it is a whole nother beast on its own. Um, the input buses all do need to be ULV, so they just have the one slot. That makes it a little bit easier, but... Uh, and yeah, this, this thing is a pain. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to get into that uh, next episode. And, um, yeah, we'll take a look at automating this. We also need to get some lubricant, finally. And uh, I think the easiest way, there's creosote we can get from wood or seed oil from crops or oil. I almost think oil would probably be the easiest. But, uh yeah, I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to get into that uh, more next episode. So anyway, that's gonna be it for today. So thanks for watching, and have a good one.